Education Laws Amendment Bill. The bill is causing a lot of controversy with some organizations saying it will affect the delivery and quality of education in the country. There are also concerns that the bill disempowers parents and school governing bodies. Philip Rosenthal of the Christian View Network has argued that this bill is threatening the rights of parents. He's joining us now live from our studio in Cape Town. Mr. Rosenthal, uh, good morning. Yes, tomorrow is the D-Day. Uh, you've been writing uh, to, to your network, you're advocating for people to really wake up and make sure that uh, they make uh, their views known about this bill at a very high level. What is your overriding view about this bill? Well, it, it takes away power from parents and puts it in the hands of the state in a way that reverses uh, the changes that were made in 1996 and makes it more similar to the apartheid era. Uh, it's going to affect not only taking away parents' rights through school governing bodies to have a say on uh, admissions, on uh, the choice of teachers and on uh, the control of various other things in the school. It affects teachers by forcing them to all disclose their detailed financial interests as well as that of their spouses, uh, which is an invasion of privacy. It will uh, take away choice and add costs to homeschooling. Uh, it will take away the control that school governing bodies have over uh, fee payment because they won't be able to check as easily whether somebody uh, is uh, really deserving of exemption from, from fees. And it also puts uh, the 1 in 20 uh, Afrikaans uh, single language uh, medium schools at risk because uh, they won't, uh, the government will be able to override their choice of language policy. So as far as I can see, it's, it's lose-lose for everybody. Now, in terms of the constitution, just to pick up on one of those things, I mean, uh, we are a multicultural, multilingual society, and constitutionally, all of us, in terms of our diversity, have, have to exist. Uh, are you using that constitutional argument in your input into opposing this bill? Oh, we, we definitely are using that argument, and uh, there is the potential that it will go to court at a later stage. Um, but uh, we would hope that the uh, the committee that would review this uh, the submissions would uh, fix these problems with the bill. But it's really important that uh, parents speak up. Uh, by tomorrow to the Department of Basic Education and um, you can easily find the email address to write to if you just do a, a quick uh, search on the internet. Yeah, from what I've seen and what I understand, this draft bill uh, was put out in 2015, about two years ago. There's been quite a long period for consultations. Why do you think that it's only now that uh, organizations like yourselves are waking up to the, uh, to, to, the, to the understanding that tomorrow is a deadline and there's a need uh, for people to really make Make their views no why do you think is people have really been lax in, uh, in 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 interacting with the consultation process well this was uh, to correct that it, this was only put out to the general public uh, 29 days ago uh, I think that certain other organizations were consulted uh, much earlier and I, I feel that that's uh, not fair uh, and that's a reason that we can argue that uh, there really needs to be a longer consultation process some people are only finding out about it this week and so I uh, really appeal to the Department of Education to extend that deadline uh, um, to allow for more organizations and, in, and parents to comment. Have you written to the department asking them for the extension? Um, <coughs> yes, uh, we, we're still waiting for a, a response on that, but uh, the, uh, I think it's important to get something in by the deadline tomorrow and uh, also at the same time ask for more time. There will, of course, be another opportunity when the bill gets to Parliament, uh, to when the Parliament has their own consultation, and so there'll be a second chance to have a say, but uh, the sooner that we can uh, correct these problems and put power back in the hands of parents, uh, the better. Okay, thank you very much. Philip Rosenthal from Christian View Network.